Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we will be doing a Fast and Furious movies tier list. Actually, Donald, collectively, they are called the Fast Saga. The names are very confusing. Your own name is confusing to you, Joe. The first movie, The Fast and the Furious, is probably the best one. If by best you mean most boring, then I agree. Boring? It's about street racing and heists. What else do you want? Every movie that's this old is just boring. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Plenty of old things are cool. For instance, me, the hippest president ever. The first movie also has the most iconic cars. If by iconic you mean slow, then yes. You're seriously calling the Supra slow? If you think 320 horsepower is fast, you might as well go street racing in your mom's minivan. I'll drive my car right into Mar-a-Lago with 320 horsepower and we'll see what's fast. Well, Joe and I are in agreement, so it's going into S tier. Whatever. The second one, Too Fast, Too Furious, is better. Well, it is about criminals who live in Florida, so I guess it would be your favorite. This one might have the best title of the whole series. I bought a Skyline after seeing this movie in theaters. Sadly, I don't have it anymore because I crashed it in a Wendy's drive-thru. How the hell do you crash a car in a drive-thru? I was very hungry at the time, and the person in front of me was going too slow. The car was totaled. Totaled? How fast were you going? Too fast and too furious. Still a great car, though. All right, I'm going tier A for too fast, too furious. Now we can move on to the real best movie in the series, Tokyo Drift. Well, actually, the full title is The Fast and the Furious, colon, Tokyo Drift. Nobody calls it that, you virgin. Virgin? I have multiple children. They're probably holograms. Anyway, Tokyo Drift is very overrated. Weebs like Joe, who watch too much anime, are the only people who think it's good. Not true. I like it for the drifting. It has nothing to do with anime. You've probably never drifted in your life. I've put more miles on my 240SX going sideways than you've ever put on a car going frontways. You do not own a 240SX. That is a complete lie. Drifting is such a meme anyway. I tried it once in a McDonald's parking lot and ended up going right through the play place. It wasn't my fault, though. It was actually just because of the media. I'm sure it was, Donald. Well, this movie is fucking terrible. It's going into D tier. Next is Fast and Furious. I thought they were all Fast and Furious. No, I'm talking about the fourth film in the series, which is called Fast and Furious. I don't get it. Don't worry, nobody does. The entire movie is about illegally crossing the border and smuggling drugs into our great country. For that reason, it deserves to be low tier. That's not what the movie is really about. The movie is really about family. And we all know Trump loves his family. Didn't you say you'd date Ivanka if she wasn't your daughter? We know Joe loves his family, too. That's why his son is a crack addict who sells paintings on eBay. You know, when you both put it like that, I think I'm the only one who can appreciate these films' family themes. But this movie has to be C-tier. How many of these goddamn movie are there again? We're on Fast Five now, Joe. This is a very controversial entry in the series. This is when they started to suck. There's no street racing in this one. What the hell happened? No boomer. This is when they started to really get good. The first four are about a bunch of poor people driving around in L.A. Fast Five and the rest are about badass guys working for the military. All the films are about family. It doesn't matter if they're street racing or doing covert missions for the government. Fast Five is also the first one with The Rock, who is the greatest wrestler besides me. He is also one of the best actors. The Rock can't act at all. Wrong. He deserved an Oscar for Fast Five. I'm also personal friends with him, and he has told me that he voted for me both times. Well, there's just no way that's true. Anyway, I think Fast Five can go into B tier. Fast and Furious 6 is where things start to get crazy. Six and onward are just weird, man. When I was growing up, the cars weren't in the movies. You were in your car at the movie. That was called a drive-in. And if you didn't like the movie, you'd just drive right through the screen and tear the whole thing down. Now, obviously, at the more high-end drive ends, they would have barricades. But with four-wheel drive, you could still let them know that the movie sucked. Thanks for the history lesson, Joe. The Rock is in this one, too, so pretty much an automatic S tier. Fast and Furious 6 is a bit of a mess. I mean, do you remember the plot? Could you explain what happens in the movie to me? That doesn't matter, you nerd. It was badass. He's right. I can't remember the plot, either. In fact, I can't remember if I've even seen this one. Put it into tier A, better than Fast 5. Okay, fine. Now, Furious 7 is obviously a very emotional very, one. Very, very emotional. It's sad to think that Paul Walker is dead, and yet somehow Joe is still alive. I would gladly trade my life to bring back Paul Walker. If only there was some way to make that deal a reality. You know a car crash can happen to anyone, even if you're an excellent driver like me. You know Paul actually wasn't the one driving when he died. Obama, please, I'm trying to talk about myself here. Anyway, even I have gotten into the occasional crash. I was whipping a sick-ass Honda Civic around the time this movie came out, and I crashed it into a Chick-fil-A. How did that happen? I just thought it would be badass. Neither of you should have a fucking 
license. This movie was amazing for the franchise. It's S tier. How do we feel about the fate of the furious? Is that really the title? Yes, Joe. And your title really is president, even if you don't always remember. This one made no goddamn sense. There's a submarine and people flying around with jetpacks. It was actually very realistic. Our great military has both of those things. I don't think our military is airdropping Chevys into Siberia. You'd be surprised, Barry. You'd be very surprised. Actually, I wouldn't be that surprised if you used street racers as special ops when you were President Donald. It wouldn't even be in the top 10 most ridiculous things you did. These used to be movies about street racing and stealing DVD players. And now they are about cooler things. What's the problem? I'm with Donald for different reasons. If you embrace the family and stupidity of the Furious movies, it's easily B-tier for the Fast Saga. The latest one, F9, is the worst one of them all. The full title is actually F9 colon The Fast Saga. What the fuck does that mean? I'll be honest, I have no idea. The movie is great. They don't need to all have some big race, Joe. Of course you would say that. The last race you were in was the presidential race and you lost. I almost had you. You never had me. Actually, the ninth movie probably has the most racing since the original. Plus, they go to space. That's right, they do. I was inspired to create the Space Force thanks to this excellent film. But the Space Force was created way before this movie came out. Obama, the movies are about family, okay? La Familia? Well, yes, that is true, but this movie went way too far. Physics went out the fucking window and everyone hated John Cena in this. A step backwards in the franchise, D tier. What about the spin-off with The Rock and Jason Statham? This movie was fucking awesome. S tier? Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. I didn't mind this one. The family aspect with The Rock and Jason Statham was really well done. Fuck this franchise. Felt like a shitty James Bond movie. I want street races for pink slips. Let's go with mid-tier between tier A and tier B. Good idea, Obama. We get along best when Biden acts like he should be in a home. People in the comments should let us know where they would rate Fast X when it's out. Probably D tier. Screw you, Joe. It can't be S tier without The Rock. I bet it will be up there with Hobbs and Shaw when it comes to quality, though. Good thinking, Donald. If you want to watch more of our tier list, click on a video on screen now.